Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and we get a lot of people asking how to clean their telescope lenses, eyepieces, uh, binoculars, uh, the, the, the front of the telescope. Uh, so we thought we'd do a, a video on the procedure, the how-to of cleaning the lens system. This procedure is for binocular lenses, the, the front lenses, uh, the eyepieces and the, and the objective lens, telescope eyepieces, the front of a refractor telescope, or as we see here, a Cassegrain, Mac, or Schmidt Cassegrain, the lens up front. The general procedure is to first get the dust off, and then if there's anything left, fingerprints or oils, then you can work your way further. But only clean it when it's necessary. You don't want to be cleaning your optics constantly uh, if there's nothing really wrong with them. And if it's just dust, get the dust off and, and then you're done. But fingerprint oil or eyelash oil, that's something that really does need to be taken off. You don't want it to be left on the lens over the long run. Well, here we have a couple of different ways to do it. We sell a kit that has everything included, or we have the individual pieces. This is a microfiber cloth. We have the old tried and true method of lens fluid and lens paper. And then for just getting dust off, we either have a lipstick camel hair brush, or included in the kit would be compressed air. So the first step is to get the dust off. I'll just use the camel hair brush here and the eyepiece might have been sitting around for a while uh, out of its case, so just gently flick off the dust. You don't want to be rubbing around on it really hard, but gently flick it off, and then take a look. And I still see some spots on there, probably from water moisture or uh, maybe a fingerprint. So I do want to go to that next step. One of the easiest uh, things to use is the microfiber cloth. It's got these little hairs on it which pull off the the grime and the oils and everything else without actually scratching the lens. So you just want to do a gentle rub on the lens, take a look. If there's still something there, go to a new part of the lens just in case there was a little bit of residual dust left over so you're not rubbing the dust around on the, uh, uh, on the lens. And continue on. Sometimes there might be something fairly stubborn on there, a little water spot that refuses to come off. A great way to get that off is to just fog it with your breath. And then do another little wipe with a microfiber cloth, and I guarantee you that pretty much pulls off everything. It's, it's, it's a really good method for getting this thing very, very, very clean. If you're using lens fluid and tissue, it's important to put the drop of fluid on the tissue paper in your hand first, not directly onto the eyepiece. So let it soak into the tissue paper, then again gently wipe in a circular motion covering the spot that the oil or fingerprint might be uh, resting on, and then move to a dry spot on the tissue to soak up the rest of the residual fluid and oils. And again, if there's something stubborn on there, you can always fog it up with your breath and continue. And that should leave you with a nice, clean, streak-free uh, lens. One thing I want to mention, though, this is for lenses. This is not for telescope mirrors. So the Newtonian mirror, your primary mirror or, or secondary and your reflector, that's an entirely different system. That coating is very, very delicate and you want to use a different procedure. In the back of your telescope manual, usually we have a uh, procedure for doing that. It involves a big sink basin full of water and some uh, cotton balls. This will damage primary mirrors, but it is perfectly fine for lenses. And you'd be surprised, these lenses are, are more durable than you think. Uh, they can handle a little bit of rubbing around. You're not really going to scratch them. Don't go in there with a scouring pad and really uh, work at it. But if you do it just like I did here, uh, a gentle rubbing with the microfiber cloth or the lens tissue and paper, you'll get your optics spotless. Very simple system to use. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.